Grab the top one. Go straight in. Right there, go up. There you go. Get all hands on. Let's go, guys. Grab it. Grip, come on this side. More hands on at the better. Watch the other one from falling down. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, Greg. What's happening, bro? How are you? How you doing, Wade? Well, once we finish unloading, then we can correspond to rolling it inside. You Let's say when. In. We're here to help. You ready for us? We're ready. All right. Let's do it. Now it's time for the hard part. Kyle's going to get on one forklift. I'm going to get on the other forklift, and we're going to get ready to lift up this 8,000-pound fish tank. The truck's going to pull away, and we're both going to lower it at exactly the same time. Hey. Where's the driver? When we lift the tank, we're going to back up slow. I need you to pull the truck out. You're good, Wade. Straight in. Right, hit reverse, Kyle. Slow. Let it roll. Slow. Slow. Are we clear from the truck? Yeah, yes. we're good. Let me go forward first, all right? Now the forklift tango begins. Kyle and I need to be completely in sync. You have four tons of weight. If it shifts any way and slides, that tank can come crashing down. Nice. Nice, nice and slow. And easy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, we're good. Watch your fingers. The tank's coming down. Watch that two by four. All right, the tank can rest. Now we got to get the four pieces of the stand in place so we can bolt it together. Now come up. Give yourself a little tilt. Going in first. It'll be easier to place the main filters before we put the tank on top, but the rest of the filtration will have to be done later. Everybody just grab a corner. One, two, three. Yeah. Lift up. Hold on. Rest it on this corner down here. Now slide it in. Timing is everything. You're going to have to drive in there. We're okay. in. We're in. We're in. Now for the hard part. Let's just get the tank in here. He's going to have it in reverse as I'm pushing it. But if he goes to give it gas and I push, you have more of a chance of losing the tank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Hold up! We're picking up under the overflow. So that means I need to get the forks on this side. Once they got the tank into the building with the two forklifts, they set it on the ground. All right, stay there, and I'll tilt back. All right, now it's you. It's all you. Stay right there. Then Kyle tried to pick it up with one forklift and move it up onto the base. I about lost my mind at that point. His wheels are off the ground. You guys push the tank up. Kyle, drive forward. Hold on. Drive forward now. Since the tank almost weighs 8,000 pounds, realistically, it can flip the forklift. Keep going, keep going, clear those pipes. All right, hold up, hold up. I just got off the forklift. Yeah, there's no brace, there's no wood under here. The exhaust is burning on my legs. Stay there. Okay, listen, I want to come in three more inches. Can you look? Yep, got it. That means you stand right here <laughs> and you watch him. Got it's it. not what you got here. Okay. You tell him. All right. So when you tell him we're next to the stand, mm -hmm. then we're coming up. Then, guys, I want someone to stay over here as it's going up, OK? Because as I go up higher, this thing's going up. But just that little weight's helping on both sides. Good. We're going forward three inches. A little bit more. A little bit more up, another inch. Come on, Kyle. Go in. Go in. Go. Nice and slow. Listen. Nice and slow. Guys, tank's in. Holy looks cow. good. What do you think of it so far? Huge. Yeah, it's a big tank. It looks so much bigger when it's up on the frame like that. We still have the islands back in Vegas. Right. We still got to get all the plumbing, sand, water, and fish. We just want to make sure we got the tank in so you guys can continue your construction. We just have to bring in the containers of water to store here. Got some guys who are going to be doing some stuff, too. OK, sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys yeah, uh, in a couple weeks. Yeah, we're are you excited. Happy? Yeah, this is, this is going to look so yeah. awesome. Thanks so much. You got it, yeah. fellas. All right, thanks. Have a safe trip. All right, man, you got it. After months of work, the tank is in, the fish are in, and even the final insert is in. All right, we're good. Let's go show it off. All right, we'll hide this, all right? Come on, come on. All right, come on. Wow! Whoa! The 
said we wanted to go big. You said a few people. This is a few people. You got the chills. One, two, three. Amazing. It is truly amazing. The size of the tank, it fits the room perfect. This tank is 21 feet long, six feet wide, six feet tall. You're looking almost over 5,000 gallons. When we talk about a cherry on top, that's a 5,000 gallon version of it. Man, they really knocked it out of the park. 42,000 pounds of water. Wow. It's 21 tons sitting right here. It's amazing. I think it's perfect. We had a thermal form this. That's the trickiest part. That's four panels that you see to make that racetrack shape. It has to go in the oven over 14 hours. Now, it's not only just the tank. You've got a steel structure that has to support it, and you have filtration. you got it in a remote room, and you also have it underneath the aquarium. It's top notch, just like your company here. You guys yeah. should have no issues, no problems, no headaches. All the coral that you see here is actually molded off a real coral. Throughout all the coral inserts, the island pieces, there's pieces that were handmade and painted to look exactly like your pieces. We really wanted a natural look without being distracted by, you know, too much tech. You have 5,000 gallons of water sitting here, and inside the aquarium, you have over 100 fish, okay? Wow. We knew that you guys wanted sharks, yep. and, you know, sharks are a key importance of this aquarium. That's why we made it with racetrack ends. You guys have two different species of sharks. The first species is a horn shark. They come from the California waters. They have brown and they have spots. And those guys are actually one of my favorite sharks because they're lazy swimmers, nice. right? And I'm kind of lazy, so, you know, anybody that's lazy, we're like a team, right? They're nocturnal. So you guys will see them lay down in the day, but at night, they actually start to swim around. You also have a banded hound shark. These guys come from Asia. They're gray and they actually have banded stripes across their back. Um, these guys, too, are also nocturnal. They'll come out at nighttime. The good thing about these sharks, they eat the same thing. They eat uh, shrimp, squid, krill. We have fish that are actually themed after your company. You can see this fox face in there, and those guys are actually gold and yellow. And the reason we wanted to put gold and yellow is because we know how much gold that this company goes through in a year. <laughs> exactly. We know that you guys buy about $40 million worth of gold. I think that's correct, right? Yeah, you're, you're off a little bit, but not much. I'm off, but not yeah. much, right? So we thought it would be great by putting a ton of schooling gold fox faces inside the aquarium. Also, we have an uh, orange shoulder tang. These guys are also very passive tangs. They get along with everybody. You won't have to worry. They're also in the surgeon family. And a lot of hiding spaces for these guys to, to live in. And you said something pretty important. You said that the They'll all get along really well together, right? Correct. Right. There's 440 species of sharks, so to come up with the right species that get along with everybody else it was a little difficult. Yeah, yeah. it's like a well-oiled machine in the aquarium. Yeah, right? we yeah. wanted a wow factor. You gave it to us.